Get ready to crypto! Welcome one and all DGENs and day traders, veteran stakers and crypto curious rookies. Welcome to the slugfest that we've all been waiting for. It's the battle of the smart contract platforms, and there's been a bit of bad blood between these two competitors recently, Davey. That's right, Chris. Some fighting words and savage memes have been thrown between the two camps. The crypto press has been building this one up. It's been moved to neutral ground in Belgium, and they've been building it as the tussle in Brussels. <laughs> well, there's no more time for words, Davey, because here comes Ethereum with the entire Dow entourage in tow. Entering the cage, it's the smart contract executioner, the virtual killing machine, the granddaddy of dApps, Ethereum. <laughs> Look at that concentration. Ethereum isn't here to mess around. That may be so, Chris, but neither is our challenger. We have a real Safu pair of hands entering the arena here. Floating like a butterfly, stinging like a BNB, it's Binance Smart Chain. Did you see how fast Binance made it out of the dressing room, Chris? Ethereum is looking sluggish in comparison. Hold on to your horses. It's what you do in the ring that matters, not how quickly you do it. Well, tell that to the people who are paying near $100 gas fees for some transactions. Come on, Davey. Let's not turn this into a single issue battle. Ethereum is way more experienced and has way more going for it than Binance Smart Chain. Besides, the potential for speed is there too. It just is taking a while because many amazing dApps want to build on Ethereum. Well, I hope Ethereum finds some speed of movement tonight. Because if it doesn't, Binance Smart Chain might cause it some instant finality. Look how Ethereum is staring down Binance. I'd be confident as well if I was backed by thousands of decentralized nodes all spread out all over the world. The Ethereum juggernaut is just virtually impossible to stop. And how many nodes does Binance Smart Chain have? Binance doesn't have nodes. It has validators. And yes, it only has 21 of them. But these validators are chosen by delegators from within the Binance community who have the freedom to contribute to Binance Smart Chain's open source code. So, BSC isn't entirely centralized. Whatever you say, my friend. Anyway, it looks like we're ready for the moment of truth. Binance looking very quick on its feet here, but that's the benefit of streamlining your blockchain architecture. You can have a similar trading experience or smart contract transaction, but much faster and for a fraction of the cost. That's right. BSC's proof of staked authority consensus is designed to combine the best of both the centralized and decentralized world. But before you can have transactions, you need users. And to get users, you need innovative products that solve real world problems. That's a great point. The Binance community can talk about transaction speeds all day, but the real innovation is still happening on Ethereum. Doesn't it seem like a lot of apps that are built on Binance Smart Chain are just copies of things that have already been done on Ethereum? Listen, a new blockchain needs to be able to walk before it can run. And besides, users are flocking to Binance Smart Chain apps like PancakeSwap because the trading fees are much cheaper than they are on decentralized options like Uniswap. But how long will that last? Layer 2 solutions such as sharding and rollups, which move most of the computation off chain already exists and it's only a matter of time before ethereum's improved proof of stake consensus is fully operational and when it is they'll still have the largest pool of blockchain developers you know the biggest network is the one that enjoys the best network effects it's not like binance is just some new kid on the block that is playing pretender to ethereum's crown it's one of the most popular and trusted exchanges in the crypto space with millions of active users. And there are over 60 million unique Binance Smart Chain addresses. That's quite the network effect. Okay, that may be so, but the Ethereum community keeps moving forward. So-called Ethereum killers have come and gone, and the OG of smart contract platforms just keeps on rolling. There are almost 3,000 dApps built on Ethereum compared to just over 300 on EOS, which is the nearest competitor. What makes you think Binance will succeed where others have failed, Davey? Well, maybe Binance Smart Chain isn't billing its 
itself as an Ethereum killer, but branching out to support more connections between different apps and blockchains. Some Ethereum-based dApps like SushiSwap and the IDEX exchange have built out onto both BSC and Ethereum. So you could say that Binance is helping Ethereum dApps to scale. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. What I do know though is that this fight is far from over and I'd love to know what our audience thinks. Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum? Let us know in the comments which corner your money is on. Smash those like and subscribe buttons for more crypto videos from Exodus.